We are joined by the DePaul hero, Nick Ongenda, who delivered the game-winning block for the Blue Demons, who beat Seton Hall in the Big East Tournament first round, 66-65. to Blue Demons will meet Xavier Thursday night. Nick, let's begin with the play of the game, the play of the tournament thus far. You skying on Femi Odikali for a block. Call the goaltend. When the officials went to the monitor, what were you thinking? I mean, I already knew it was gonna it was gonna be a block. You know, uh, I'm not trying to sound cocky, but I had countless blocks like that. You know, so I knew it was going like regardless of all the noise and stuff. It was it was a sure thing. I want to ask you. I mean, just, just talk about your journey and, and, and let these viewers know, you know, what it's been like for you. Missing 25 games, broken wrists. A lot of guys would not have come back and given up their whole season to play just a few games. Mm -hmm. And now you're getting rewarded for it by advancing to the quarterfinals in the Big East Tournament. Mm -hmm. What does that feel like? And what has that journey been like for you? Uh, I mean, it was hard in the beginning when I initially got hurt. But my teammates from the start have always been 10 toes. They always been with me. Uh, you know, like they always been supportive. So I knew these group of guys were my family and I had to reward them initially by coming back, you know. Uh, I love these guys and they play their hearts out and even after losses, like they came back, practiced just as hard the next day and the next day. So uh, that obviously gave me the confidence to come back and be like, yeah, this is it. Um, forget all that coming back next season, you have extra season. Uh, I was ready to play these games and I worked out constantly to get in shape again. Yeah and get right back to it. So yeah. A right. Testament to you and to my guys. You know, the, you know, John, we talked about this, you know, we watch a lot of Big East games, yes. right? And it is clear that with this young man in the lineup, you are a different team because of your shot blocking presence, your athleticism, your length, it allows the guards to get out and pressure more. I mean, what does your team feel like the, the ceiling is for your team right now, now that it's kind of a new season? The sky's the limit, you know? Uh, Postseason, we we like to say one and zero, you know. So uh, after this, it's just up from here. You feel me? So um, energy's running high. Um, our team's ready to keep going and keep performing. And yeah, it's 65 to 61. Seton Hall on top with 17 seconds to go in a game. Mm. We don't have win probability in front of us, but we all know what normally happens. Yeah. Mm. Why did this DePaul team not quit? Just like I said, I mean, practice. Just uh, testament and practice. Uh, every time we lose, we come right back to it. You feel me? So we always come in stronger than ever. Keep going, keep grinding. We never give up. And uh, it, it showed at the end, you feel me? JT got that game-winning steal. Uh, Yamoja got the free throw line. You saw we all had confidence that he was going to knock down all three, for real. So um, it's just a show of how like how much work we put in and how we're always ready for any situation. Nick, congratulations and thanks for Thank joining you so us. Much. Good luck tomorrow night. Thank we'll you. see Thank the Blue Nick. Demons right. on a Thursday night in, in Manhattan. Thank you. <laughs>